and welcome to Growing and Eating Plants in Yoga Pants at My Yoga Barn. This is Rebecca Birdwell. Welcome to the garden. Today we're going to be talking about compost. Compost is important for many reasons. If you're a gardener and you grow food or you grow flowers, compost improves your soil and helps add nitrogen, nitrogen to the soil for the plants to grow. Another good reason to have a compost pile is to decrease the amount of food and table scraps that are going into the landfill. Remember what I always say, landfill last, right? Reduce, reuse, recycle, landfill last. So today, we are going to look at my compost. And I will be honest with you, I never really had a good, good experience with my own compost. I've always bought compost and I, this is the year that I've been trying to really just sustain and not buy. So I thought this was the year that I'm really going to try to figure out how to do this compost. And I think that the secret is not, well not the secret, but I think the key is to turn this compost every day. So you're going to need a pitchfork like this. And um, what I do is I, I add, there's two things that are gonna that are gonna go into your compost. One is green and one is brown, and that those are the ingredients. So when I say green, I mean like table scraps like this. So this is what sits on our counter. Remember, if it doesn't go to the chickens first, it goes to the compost. So green is everything that is that you're not gonna eat. That is not an animal byproduct. If you put any animal byproduct in, that means meat, cheese, dairy, you're likely to get maggots uh, or likely to have it sink. So stick with your veggies and your veggie scraps. And the other thing that goes in the compost is, if you look over here, is um, what we call a brown ingredient. So this leaves could be a brown ingredient. Um, you know, dead grass could be a brown ingredient. And there really, there is a ratio that if you look it up, there's a ratio between green and brown that you want to try to get to. But just like in the kitchen, I don't want to overthink things. And so basically what I do is I come out to the compost, I dump my kitchen scraps here. And then if I have a brown, I just come over and put it on top to cover it up that kind of helps a little bit with the flies and you know we want some bugs in there we actually want a lot of bugs in there so and then I'll come out and I'll turn it if I don't have a brown at the time what I'll do is I'll come down here and I will I will turn onto the what I just dumped out so if you notice this has a lot of sticks in it um sticks big sticks and big chunks are going to take a long time to decompose I, I knew that, but I didn't realize that really until this time, but I'm going to just go with it. When I get to this point over here with that pile, I'll just keep adding, I'll take the chunks and add them back over. So this is the pile that I'm actually working with that's going to go in the garden. See the difference? This looked like this about four months ago. So this is a pretty good compost pile. And what I've been doing, I still, once I decided I was going to use this side, I stopped adding to it. And then I still come out here and I still turn it. And so you notice it's kind of crumbly. And what I'll do is I'll bend down and like, if there's a rock, I throw that out. If there's a big stick, I throw it out. But I, I bought some compost the other day and I noticed that my compost looked very similar to the one I bought. So I thought that this was doing a pretty good job. So what you do is you add this to your soil when you're planting or you use it as a side dressing. It does have a nitrogen component, which is what your plants need to grow. It doesn't have as much as a fertilizer, which is a liquid fertilizer or a granular fertilizer. We also have chickens that produce poop and we often add the chicken poop into the into the compost so before you gross out don't gross out because it's a lot of nitrogen it's very helpful in breaking that down and it's also really good for your plants so thanks for coming today start a compost pile anywhere in your yard to decrease the amount of food waste that goes into the landfill 
and also to have compost ready as a quick soil enhancement and nitrogen source, small nitrogen source for your home garden. You're watching Growing and Eating Plants in Yoga Pants at My Yoga Barn with Rebecca Birdwell. We will either see you in the garden, in the kitchen, or on the mat. Bye.